Yeah, welcome, welcome very much to Conversation. A pleasure to have three guests here. We're going to be able to be talking about matters related <coughs> to, in a rough general sense, the Occupy Wall Street movement. And uh, we're going to be st- focusing particularly on uh, the gentleman to my immediate left, who we'll introduce in a second. Uh, but on my immediate right, we have Guy Fox himself, uh, otherwise known as Nina Renfrew. She's a strong supporter of the Occupy movement. And my uh, across the table catty, catty corner from me is uh, Brendan Burke, and he's an Occupy Wall Street uh, activist from the get-go, if I'm understanding. We're yes, going to want to hear some about that. And on my immediate left is uh, is a past, we've had a guest with uh, a guest uh, uh, set with him recently. That's Jack Boyle. He's got a very interesting story. He's been in the news a great deal, having to do with Trinity Church and Occupy. And Jack, so good to see you on the set. Welcome. Thank you, Howard. Nice to be here. Let's talk a little bit about Trinity Church and so forth, and fill it in because people may not have been aware of it. But you. Were were involved at the Trinity Church and you were actually being threatened with prison and so forth but could you share your own background a little bit uh, particularly with a focus on Trinity and then we'll get down to the fact that you went on fast and that sort of thing okay uh, well uh, concerning Trinity uh, Wall Street Church mm. uh, we uh, there was an event on December 17th, mm-hmm. which uh, was the last autumn, yeah. 2011, and uh, many hundreds of us uh, were at the empty lot at 6th and Canal, 6th Avenue and Canal Street here in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. And uh, the purpose uh, for being there that day was to uh, set up a camp at the, on the lot which uh, Trinity claims to uh, own. Okay, I, I've not been that directly involved, but it was it was at the date that they invaded Liberty Park uh, with the uh, police in mass and, and mm-hmm. broke up the park, or was it related to that time period? Uh, the eviction at uh, Sakati Park mm-hmm. was uh, Tuesday, November 15th. November 15th. And the, uh, well, it, they first, NYPD and Homeland Security were there uh, actually uh, Monday the 14th, just before midnight. Uh-huh. So uh, it was the early hours, a.m. hours of Tuesday, uh, November 15th. And were you there at Liberty Park? Yes, I was. You were part of Occupy. Uh, I, the Occupy Wall Street thing. Yes, was, yeah, uh, since, so since September. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I was in the park that night and remained in the park that night. You were evicted then at uh, that time? Well, the entire park yeah, was Yeah, the whole evicted. park was. And I called raid night because it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, we were attacked. It's probably overdrawn, but it seemed to me like Gestapo tactics. They, yeah. bur- they they gathered up books and put them in a dumpster and that sort of thing, and it was an all-out Th- Thousands, attack. thousands of books It may indicate destroyed. that some people were more worried about what was going on because it was happening and being emulated all over the world, was it not? Across the country, and it was going... And they would like to stamp that out, wouldn't they? That there's anything, any reason for people to be discontented with the broad structural problem, uh, it means by which the world is operating. Yeah. They wanted to break that down and have it all go back to the normal. But how did you end up at Trinity, and what's the uh, the situation that related to you? Uh, not at Trinity, but at, at, at Sixth Avenue and and and, uh, and Canal. Well, there had been discussions with uh, Occupy Wall Street uh, representatives, with uh, representatives of Trinity Wall Street Church, mm-hmm. and uh, about uh, using this empty lot at uh, Sixth Avenue and Canal Street. Uh, and uh, we never really got the get go, but uh, we. My understanding was that uh, if we were the, if we went there, that uh, we were refugees, like yeah, 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 and uh, that in the end, Trinity would uh, realize that. Uh, it was a Christian thing to allow some uh, sanctuary from the uh, from the police that were attacking you, very much like what 
was done in Kristallnacht, that kind of thing, in Germany, and that kind of thing. So the church, Knudsen Church, how do you pronounce it? Knudsen Church? Judson. Judson Church, Judson. yeah. They were very open. They opened the door right up to people on that night and were very open. And the church should be, in the terms of their Christian commitment to the least advantage of us, mm -hmm. which is their thing, but it's awfully overlooked. And it was overlooked, in your case, seems to be by the Trinity Church. It has very large real estate interests and so forth. Mm. But anyway, I, I, I'm just trying to get down to, actually, you were arrested then for being on some of their property or something? That on December 17th. Yeah. Uh, there were 57, 58 of us that were arrested <laughs> for actually being on the lot. Uh, uh, there were various ways of entry onto the lot. And, uh, and uh, we, we were there not more than 10 minutes on the lot. and. Uh, NYPD were uh, in in there and arresting us. Yeah, arresting with force. With force, and uh, on the other side of the fence, uh, which sur surrounds this empty lot, uh, people, uh, other Occupy Wall Street uh, uh, folks were being uh, Brutally uh, hurt. By, really mean. Yeah. Yeah. Like they were like, on the night that they. Attacked. Yes, raid night also. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, right, right, right. Yeah. It was there, like, there have been a number of times, uh, many times throughout uh, the past nine months that NYPD has uh, just come at us with such force where they are. Uh, they've really seriously have hurt uh, people, injured people, yeah. and uh, some of us have been permanently uh, handicapped. Uh, yeah. as a result of this uh, brutality out you, there. You, you can see some of the attitude that Mr. Bloomberg calls his 33,000 man army yeah, against Occupy yes. or against the people yes. which is the lot of many, uh, many of the authority figures across the country and the world is to attack the people so that there is no chance of there being some sort of uprising like you were trying to get inculcated in the minds of the people that there ought to be qualitative change. Mm -hmm. That's right. something they're very worried about. Sure. Yeah. And uh, so, Brendan, maybe you could. You were in on the first day of the Occupy, from what uh, I was in with the director with, of security. Yeah, the within a within the week, I was there. Got yeah, a few phone calls and went down there and uh, uh, basically started a security outfit, what I call de-escalation, not really security, yeah. since it's not really about policing people; uh, it's about protecting people. Mm -hmm. So, um, wherever there is. Uh, immediate danger which we would call code red someone's assaulting someone someone is breaking something someone is putting someone else in danger yeah. whatever could shorten the lifespan of that occupation mm -hmm. my number one priority is make sure it stopped didn't happen was there a lot of that kind of thing going on there and was do you count the attacks by police officers and so forth as attacks by security forces on their side as being almost terroristic in their own application or how far do we go along seeing those people that attacked Zuccotti Park similar to Crystal Knot or something like that I, that happened in Europe. Maybe uh, overdrawn, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to take away from Crystal Knot because mm. uh, that yeah, was right, an awful yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, right. um, this was awful in its intention, but it's ineffective. Um, mm. Using brute force against people assembling to address grievances is a constitutional right. Sure is. Uh, we'll continue to do it. We continue mm. to branch out and evolve. But uh, haven't they tried to make that a crime now? Actually, the kind of thing you were doing was that, and they're trying to the make NDAA? any, any uh, demonstration. They had a yeah. law, the thing they passed in the court. Yeah, or if you National Defense anyone, Authorization. You can't do it. So the, the ability to assemble to address grievances is being questioned by the authority figures that want to not have Occupy even be anything to do in the consciousness of the world. Yeah, well, it's not going to work. Okay, you think so? I think so. Yeah, yeah no, no, it's yeah. not going to work. Mm -hmm. No, because it's not new to this country either that, uh, you know, the civil rights movement had just as much or more. Bull Connor and his dog. Yeah, way yeah. more blowback. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and it's still unfolding, the civil yeah. rights movement. So, Occupy is nine months, ten months old. It's not going anywhere. It's only going to evolve and grow and feather into the culture on every level. Uh -huh. uh, it's impossible to talk in this country about anything in the power structure without talking about financial inequality. Right, right. So uh, now, now we're really getting there. When we see an international crisis, 
a bond crisis with different countries that can't pay their bills yeah. and need to borrow from other countries. Now we know that debt is the problem. Mm -hmm. The reason why we took the park is because no one's addressing the dysfunction of the debt mechanism created by Wall Street. Well, that's one question. They're certainly coming up with Europe and, and Greece and all that and yeah. everything, and the, and the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, and all of that, and that that's all there. But it's also it's always been there's only a few people who run things in each political and uh, uh, system all throughout history and so forth. There's always been a few people sure. who rule, sure. and they still do. They still do. But it's not adequate to what the future now newly allows in a liberating way that historically right. has not been available to us, nor right. requires if we're not to unleash the ungodly weapons of a world seen through the prism of realpolitik, right. where the only thing that counts is power, right. the extension of power, because the weapons now have become species lethal. That's in right. In terms of the whole species and much of the uh, flora and fauna yeah. at our own making. Right. Well, I would say I would say information is a weapon that we have wielded well. Mm -hmm. and we will continue to wield, and also is one of the most powerful weapons in modern living, um, with everyone online and everyone being able to communicate internationally. But the problem is the same few people that you cite that have always been in power yeah. have 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 counted on there being <coughs> borders and seas and local economies to yeah, rule yeah. now it's a global economy right so you can't have it both ways you can't have a global economy and benefit off it and then and then complain that the global economy is tilting its scale against you uh -huh. all right it's it's there's a evening out that's happening it's just energy transfer it's happening you can't take what we call the 99 mm -hmm. percent and you can't draft resources from them to a small one percent Place. Well, it's been done historically. It's all been done historically. The institutions are there to reify the institutions and make it possible for a few right. to get all the resources right. and all the assets and all the ownership while everybody else is like serfs on a feudal estate. It still holds. Right. It held in feudal times. It held in colonial times. Right. It holds now. It holds now. And it's, so, it's try, they're trying to make it holding globally, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. which I don't think is going to work. You know, uh, no, I do not think it's going to work. All the legions of Rome. And so forth. They've been that and everything. Now, there's another thing that came out of written, and we have out of my immediate right. We have Guy Fox, and uh, remember, remember the 5th of November and Guy Fox Day in the personage of Nita Renfrew. And Nita, you have been involved in this. She's a strong supporter of the Occupy movement, as are you. And we're gonna, we want to get back to the thing about Trinity specifically. But what do you think of all this? Do you think it's going to grow, or do you think they the forces of uh, all the king's horses and all the king's men with all of their truncheons and so forth have finally beaten sense into the serfs and they'll go settle back into their roles? Or do you think Occupy as a sentiment is going to grow in New York, across the country, and across the world? Well, I think that one of the things that's really interesting right now, I've been involved in a lot of um, revolutionary movements in, in my day. You sure have. And uh, um, I've sort of always been a behind-the-scenes person who helps get things done and so on. I've, I, I've never been an out-front, uh, in-your-face activist. And um, I see myself in that role with the Occupy Wall Street movement. I agree with Brendan that it's very important to um, identify ourselves as being part of the Occupy Wall Street movement because Wall Street is the crux of the financial uh, world in, in, in a very real sense. And... Um, uh, this is this is where it starts, and I think that the fact that uh, that these people occupied uh, the street down there at, at Wall Street is very significant. Um, I want to say something about. Um, I happen to be a, a religious person uh, because I believe that that in a lot of uh, a lot of the revolutionary um, uh, jargon and so on that you know people tend to get very materialistic and and that materialism is not the only thing that that we need we need you know we need something other than that and a lot of people don't like the word spiritual and that's okay with me you know you can call it all kinds of things um, I I um, uh, I was, I'm very upset about what's happening uh, with the um, Trinity Wall Street Church because I happen to be um, an interspiritual, interfaith minister, yeah. but my core uh, religion is, I'm an Episcopalian, and um, I'm actually a healing prayer minister in the uh, uh, Episcopal Church, and I've always been involved with uh, revolutionary uh, religious leaders. Um, back in 1979, I was able to arrange a trip when uh, the Shah fell and Khomeini took over in Iran. 
uh, I was able to arrange a, um, an invitation from Khomeini for one of the Sandinista leaders from Nicaragua, uh -huh. Ernesto Cardenal, who was, uh, as many people know, he's, he's probably Latin America's greatest poet at the moment. And he was Thomas Merton's disciple. He's a wow. priest. He was a monk. Mm. And uh, um, I went with him uh, very soon after Khomeini took power over there to ask for, uh, to request um, aid for the Sandinista revolution. And this is a book that's just coming out. Okay, let me hold it, Nita. Okay. It, it's, it's, I'll hold it. It's John. already on Amazon, but, but it's, it's, on Amazon. it's there this to be, um, um, to order copies. It's written by Dr. John Morrow, and it's called Religion and Revolution. And it's, it, it, it includes Ernesto Cardenal's uh, first-person account of the trip that he took to Iran with me and what went on there. And I have 80 photographs in the book of oh, the trip, right. including the two photographs on, on the cover. Mm -hmm. And on the cover, you can see him on the right in both photographs, and the one below, he's putting laying flowers on the grave of a martyr. And on the left is um, my former boyfriend, mm -hmm. uh, Abdullah Gashkai, who was, who was actually... He was. Uh, he and his family were great supporters of. Uh, well, they were fighting against the Shah, and they ended up supporting Khomeini. And then he was killed by Khomeini. It was sort of a case of when the revolution begins to eat its own children. Mm. So, I've been involved with other uh, revolutionary movements too, helping yeah. them. And I've been wondering all these years, <laughs> what's wrong with this country? Mm. Like, why don't people wake up here? And I'm so. I was so. I was so happy when the Occupy Wall Street movement you know, sort of sprung up last September. And um, and I thought, well, this is incredible. Mm. Um, I also think it's interesting because it's it's different from other movements. In um, there, there are some ways that I find it very exasperating because, you know, when I, I, when I go to the meetings and so on, people are not always friendly. Uh, uh, there's sort of a, a lot of feeling of control and so on, while at the same time they're talking about a leaderless revolution. Well, I understand that, you know, it's very difficult to get a bunch of people together and, you know, people start wanting to take territory and so on. In most revolutionary movements, there are sort of uh, designated leaders that people agree on, and and you know, and they and they and they, you know, they make concerted plans and so on. And of course, I look at all of these other movements, and you know, they all, including the the American Revolution, they all they're all successful to a degree, and then eventually, you know, they get uh, um, eaten up. And so it's a very interesting thing that, that, the, that the Occupy Wall Street movement and the other Occupy movements are doing, uh, where they're trying to not do that. Yeah. Well, the downside is that things don't get done, but maybe the upside is that when things do eventually get done, they'll, they'll stay done. And that's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Um, so well, that, that's really good. Well, I'd like to pipe in a little bit, too. I'm older. I'm 77. And I'll tell you, I've been interested in things all along in terms of qualitative change. I call it the, the long the long roll of the rock up Mount Sisyphus. You'll get up, yeah. and then it'll come back down. You had Spartacus. Mm -hmm. He tried something. Right. Kirk Douglas was on, uh, what's his name, the other day. Uh, uh, what, the... the, 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 the uh, Who's the guy that's so perceived? Bill Maher. Oh, good. And he, he's got a book out about I am Spartacus. He's saying I am Spartacus. Is Spartacus. There were slave revolts and everything tried to do it, but always the power structure could beat them down. Yeah. And the power structure thinks that they can, and they always have. But I'm, I am just thankful that I lived long enough to see this thing trying to be born. No. Where they're really actually trying to get at something, a qualitative, not a quantitative little tax change or a political power over one party. <laughs> But a real look at things, right. and if I may, I'd be interested in both you, all three of you. One of the things I hear about the Occupy is they want to move horizontal. Yeah. That is, they're not going to fall, because virtually every institution is in a mess. Right. Edu from education. It's not just one thing. Right. It's not just civil rights. It's not ladies' rights. It's not right. dog rights. It's not this. It's, it's everything. Right. So they're looking at things, 
and what they're going to do if they go think that way, if they think horizontal, what they're going to do is they're going to get out to where they get to real honest to God systems thinking about the whole system, right. which is what we need is a whole systems understanding. And that's been routinely uh, 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 knocked out of the box by the educational process, divided, uh, divided and conquered. Like we divide and conquer the African nations. Britain and imperialists, they divide and conquer the intellectual community all into specialization. And if you're a specialist, all you want to talk about is the thing you're specialized in. Title, there's no thinking systemically or well, yeah. systematically. And maybe we're getting to where we're looking at things in a big, almost evolutionary pattern in terms of the evolution of consciousness. Yeah, the evolutionary the stage that we're in right now has been handed to the people by the oligarchs that are controlling everything. Mm -hmm. Because everything is controlled on computers. Mm -hmm. in trading, in bond trading, or, or your own deal with your own bank. Mm -hmm. Everything's online. Everything's information. There's no violence here. Mm -hmm. There's no blood war. It's a purely informational war. Mm -hmm. It's about resources, right? So this movement is about resources. It's well, not about getting out of Vietnam. It's not about any of these things. It's about resources, which calls the shot on everything. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge undertaking. Well, it, can you see it in systems terms? Absolutely. Where a system, you could, you like, you can employ a system thing when you're making an aircraft. Right. So you've got a guy who does the engine, guy does it. So they think right. of that as systems. We have In that. a small context. Yes. But what you're talking about is uh, an operating manual for spaceship Earth. Right. In a new context right. that history allows, which has never been able to happen right. out of historical context. If you understand what I'm yeah, saying, I do. and that's what's really encouraging yeah. in my way of thinking. If you understand, absolutely. Because we've had all the the wisdom schools. Jesus, everybody said, take care of the least among you. Yeah. Roundly ignored by the political class, sure. always, sure. and still is. Right. right. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get Making at. Making a way where that doesn't pay anymore. Well, pardon. Making it, making a way that that doesn't pay anymore. To act that way is the way to do it. But did you hear what I said about the weapons were species lethal? Does that does that resonate in the consciousness? We just got a program. I, I would tout it. I put it up on my site in that. It, we got it from our friend Joe Friendly, who in terms it was from Day um, Ellsworth. Uh, who's the guy? David El. Uh, who's the the guy that did Pentagon Papers? Really good. Um, Ellsberg. David oh, Ellsberg. Oh. Daniel Ellsberg. Daniel Ellsberg. Thanks, Daniel. And that and everything like that. And it's a thing done to a group of friends. I put it up, and it is without doubt. That the weapons that it still exist, we still seem to think right. uh, it was not in the Second World War. We were not able to wipe out the whole species. Right. So real politic, the strong could come in with the tanks and things and win and conquer and then all that. That's it, and it still holds in terms of the thinking of the people, the political class. Right. That it's all based upon who's got the power. Right. Whether it's to co-opt or mm -hmm. whatever. But that is, but but they, it got to a point where that got to a certain point of extension to where, without a doubt, the weapons that exist now, on alert, right now, 10 minutes from now, are, would wipe out every Everybody. single human being. Right. Is that clearly enough put in the minds of people or not? He put it out without any question. A hugely uh, verified sure. intellectual putting that out. Sure. Is that ever thought about by people and everything like of that? Of course. Here? And it's only been like that since about 1970 within right. our life. Time. Sure. We're looking I was raised in the 80s. We're always afraid the Russians were going to launch a bomb. It was a Cold War. So yeah. was, we're always afraid of total, but it's mutually assured destruction, so it's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. There's that philosophy on it. But I mean, you know. You think it's never going to happen? Resources is everything. Well, okay, but no, what I'm trying to get to, if that's, I, I want to just throw it out. For yeah. You. What is the base? What makes this time different than every other time? Isn't that because, something in the... Because in the, in corporate the, in the, in interests control the world. They always have. No. Well, the large political used to be interests. used to be that you had a big general to look at and say, that's Hirohito or that's Hitler. Let's take him down. Let's take them down. Let's invade that country and fight yeah. the good fight. Yeah. Now, every, every single... Because, because corporate oligarchs have created such a system <clears throat> that is so pervasive and using the computer, they handed the opposition right to us. We can stop spending money on everything they supply. We can do we can do so much private stuff. The average citizen can actually desist in dancing with corporations. Corporations have shown themselves. The oligarchs have shown themselves. You don't need a guy with a bunch of military bars on him that says, I'm the enemy of America. They tried it with bin Laden. They tried it with Saddam Hussein. Everyone's too smart now. Everyone's informed. Everyone's got a computer. Twelve-year-old kids are on computers, all the way up to grandparents are on computers. Well, all right, but I wonder if you could extend that out a little bit, because if you if you take it like Oxum's razor, 
Mm-hmm. Or you're getting to such, you're trying to get to something existentially makes positive. Like in evolution, right? There is a thing of steady state holds for millions of years. Right. Then there's a quickening, and then there's punctuated equilibrium, and the new appears, the new right. species. We appeared two hundred thousand years ago. Right. Okay. Right. So we may be at that point. We have to start thinking about it evolutionarily. Yeah. Yes. You understand? Yeah. If we're getting at something that is qualitatively, not just quantitative, right. out of history. Right. History is a nightmare of injustice. It's always been. Yeah. It is unjust. Right. Always has been. Right. And just. And unjust. And just. And just. Yes. Yeah, sure. Right. Uh, well, sure, life is everything. Uh, you know, I mean, history is not only colored with the patterns of bad behavior; mm-hmm. it's also colored with the patterns of good behavior and strong behavior. Well, the, uh, okay. If you're talking about the controlling okay, of resources, enough, yeah. if you're talking about the controlling of resources, sure, bad characters try to control more resources and impress other people. Yeah. That's not new. Uh-huh. We're not fighting a new battle; mm-hmm. we're fighting a new version of it. But we do have a crack in the wall this time. Mm-hmm. That is called self employment in the dance with uh-huh. the enemy okay. okay it's not some evil warlord taking over america uh-huh. where we can say put that guy in jail mm-hmm. it's hey i pay for i hey i'm doing business with this person mm-hmm. every citizen can disengage and look for new ways to not deal with that oligarchy i hope you're right if you're th- that's singing the praise of the entrepreneurial spirit or something entrepreneurial you can jump you got opportunity society mr bush used to talk about that kind of thing i hope you're right that there is. Yeah. 95% of the entrepreneurs fail. You understand. Yeah, it's because they go to big banks for loans. Well, yeah, but they do. But the, Yeah, that's why they fail. I don't want to press the issue, but yeah. if you've got a thing that is existentially different, you can stop the evolution of consciousness in universe, in this universe. Right. Now, that's a biggie. <laughs> that's a biggie. That's not something, and that's only yeah. since about 1970. Right. That's, we I like wandering that. in the wilderness. Right. Now, on the other side, on the other side of that oxen's razor, isn't there also a growing ability to see a greater degree of material abundance has grown to where a greater percentage of the world population could be realistically be seen to be haves? Yes. Through time? Yes. Axiomatically almost. I do see that. And then if you see a percentage of that, it reaches a certain point where more than 50% of the people are able at a cap- level of capability to be provided with life support mm-hmm. within an ecological context right. by good design, ephemeralization, the computer chip right. and all that, so that you would have a greater percentage of the world population could be seen to be haves right. rather than have not <laughs> at the level of capability. Mm-hmm. Is it ever mentioned? that we may have transcended collectively as a society right. material scarcity. We may have. We may have. To, is it ever mentioned in the political class? It's all only economics right. is the allocation right. of scarce right. resource. Right. Something gets valued by being scarce. That's so true. That's right. Is it ever mentioned in the dialogue that in terms of how we're getting to some sort of an operating manual for spaceship work that can be liberating? We can liberate the entire society within an ecological order or we can annihilate it. That's the oxen razor thing. That gets a little bit beyond the entrepreneurial thing. That's one group of them. Mm-hmm. But what I'm trying to say, is it ever mentioned? Is it ever brought up? Do you ever hear it mentioned? We have transcended material scarcity? Well, they won't mention it. Those, Why? Those uh, won't mention first it of all, does it make any sense? Or is right. it just woolly-headed? That, and that only, we only got there about 1970, the same yeah. time the weapons became species lethal. Right. Why is that, uh, act, that, that, that idea? Not ever mentioned in any of the uh, of the uh, because it takes self responsibility to grasp that idea. Well, it takes a system's way of thinking. Well, it takes self responsibility. You have to realize that good and bad are both in you. Okay. You do the life, the life giving sword is the death dealing sword. There's no way around it. All right. So I can kill Hitler and save six million people. That's a life giving sword. Mm-hmm. All right. But I can also go into a nursery school and just kill a bunch of kids because I'm a, a freak. Mm-hmm. That's a death dealing sword, right? Yeah. So the sword is the thing, and who wields the sword? Okay. So we continue to give power to those people that sell us things. That's where we're at now. Mm-hmm. We're a consumer victim class. Mm-hmm. The whole freaking world. The whole world. The yeah. whole world. Well, 99% we of just it, yeah. keep buying and buying and buying yeah. stuff and it's validating us like the Romans watching lions eat Christians and mm-hmm. getting free bread and wine. Mm-hmm. It's the same fucking story. Excuse mm-hmm. my language. And that's all right. So, this is public access. Oh, 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 thank you. you can say words worse than that. If oh, you I, don't, I don't choose to. Yeah, yeah, yeah I you. can't think of anything worse. <laughs> is there anything worse? More out loud? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, all. that's it. So I just think that that people need to empower themselves and realize that much of this fight
is in their own behavioral traits. Well, okay. But people don't want to be told that. They well, want to right. I'm righteous. I'm righteous. I'm on the right well, side. people want to fight out who's the enemy. Yeah, well, you know, you, well that's yeah. the way you do it. It's called political. Right. You notice everything's political. Sure, it's Who's polar. the bad guy? Right. And they fight back and forth. And right. that's the old game. Right. But you have to have something that can include everybody. But the beautiful thing is, well, yes. the time we're living in now is mm -hmm. that corporate and governmental are so in bed yeah. that the duality of the zeitgeist of our nation, mm -hmm. our culture, mm -hmm. is right in front of your face. Mm -hmm. The new health care, Obamacare, so that we thing really can right there. So we really can identify the real enemy, finally. Yeah. The is that what you're saying? They're the bad guys. Yeah. We're the good guys. Yeah. You're into that. What about so no, I'm not into that. That. No, I'm no, I, you're, 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 do you understand what I'm saying? Right, right. If you've transcended scarcity, there's enough. It's different. Right. You can do a thing where everybody could be included. Everyone can be included. Now, well, we're busy pointing out who the bad guys are. Right. Are we not in Occupy? Are we going out and camping out and saying there's bad guys who are closing mortgages and throwing people out of their homes? Yeah. They're real bastards. Like they are have, bastards. Like, you know, like yeah. that. So that's sure. what we're busy doing. Maybe we should be doing something that can be more inclusive of everybody and understanding well, at in, Occupy, in, in evolutionary in terms. The Occupy, it's the intellectuals falling down on the job for not providing some sort of no, no, vision no. It's of not, the whole thing. It's, no. it's not the intellectuals' you fault. Think so. It's the media coverage blackouts fault. Well, that's part of the corporate co control. Yeah, exactly. The, the so they, they don't want to hear... Well, I don't know if they're good or bad people. Well, you're, you're pointing, we are, pointing out that they're bad guys. Well, they're, I don't know uh, if they're bad people, we're, 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 but they're I, behaving badly. Yeah, we're behaving badly. Behaving yeah, badly. Do you understand what I'm getting Yeah, at? I do. You but do. I want to get away from good guy, bad guy. You do. Sure. But Same way I want to get away from occupied. leaders. Well, then why don't you just settle in and they become a good serve? Well, well be, if you become because, a good surf, you don't... Because you need to you. constantly, constantly forge, and you need to constantly fold and fold the discussion in the culture until it comes to a good answer. Uh -huh. There is no good or bad guy. If, if we were just going to say good guy, bad guy, yeah. then how would our government work? Well, it, it's not Look working. at the Congress if you right. want to. It's, so you've got to continually fold. You've got to continually go back and forth. Every relationship, every dichotomy in, in nature is like this. It's good and bad. It's, it's, it's thin, it's fat, it's black and white. You it's don't think we have day. to get it something... Maybe we have to get something out of the dialectic, beyond the dialectic, what you gotta something do, that's dealing with the future of capability that is existentially new. What we need is you people. Understand? Yeah, what we okay. need is people to act like heroes. Okay. To activate their minds and to say we're putting a few people in jail and changing laws because because of our bad behavior, millions of Americans have suffered, kicked out of their homes, yeah, lost all their stuff. I think twelve. And you know 12 what? Million families yeah. have been put out. So of you know street. what? We're gonna put Needless these people in jail and mm -hmm. we're gonna change these laws that it could never happen again. Are you talking about the mortgage? I would love to see, I would love yeah. to see, yes, I would yeah. love to see men from Wall Street or women from Wall Street mm -hmm. come out and do that, help do that. Put themselves a in jail? No, activate a situation where results happen, justice is done, and the country is fought for. Well, they, they tore the country apart in 2008, things leading up to two unfinanced wars and, you know, and, 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 yeah, I'd like to see, and everything went to one yeah. hundred to one. So I'd like to see some of these big shots actually grow a pair and start providing for their own country. Well, they don't seem to want to do that because well, they're living well. Well, that's, that's fine. the way it is. I mean, that's the fine. kings lived well in the palace while the... Right. Well, these, these guys are kings. The they're not kings. Mm. They're not. They're, they're middle management, uh, maybe millionaires. Mm -hmm. They're just traders and guys that rig systems and wrote anyway, algorithms. what is needed is change. Yeah. Uh, What's I needed is repercussions. Are, are you all optimistic for the human prospect or do you think we're going to blow it up? Well, we're probably both. Uh, we'll do great. No, we'll we can't up. do that anymore. Remember, we used to be able to do that when right. we defeat Germany. Right. Now, if we do it, we defeat the whole evolution of consciousness all over. Yeah, I don't think you understand. Will do it. So you can't go back into the dialectic. So what do we get to beyond the dialectic? How do we get some sort of intellectual understanding of what the hell is going on and what the implications of it are? I don't know if it's necessary. To it do needs it. some protest for sure because the system in place is not nearly adequate to what the future allows or requires. No, well, no, Nietzsche I, said the, yeah. the future influences the present as much as the past. There is a future capability right. that never seems to be bothered to be brought up. Well, it takes work. And yet it's, well, no, it takes thinking, and it takes horizontal <laughs> thinking. That's, what, that's what's good about Occupy. They're going to go horizontal. They're getting out to include. It's not just blacks and whites, ladies, this, that, dogs, whatever. Right. All it's Everything's unjust. Right. Everything's right. unoperative. Everything is no end to it that you could do with that. But they're going to go out, and they're going to finally get to a systems understanding of some of that. And that is the fault of the intellectual class. 
They haven't provided an alternative way of understanding no. the evolution of consciousness, including not. humanity within a new pattern. I'm going to say something. I okay, say by all means. I think that one of the things that's really interesting is that the Occupy Wall Street activists are putting their finger right on the, 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 the they're not calling it structural injustice, but what there is out there is structural injustice. Absolutely. And when there's structural injustice, it's like, the whole structure is unjust. So it's just by virtue of sitting here, you know, drinking out of these paper cups, you know. Uh, I mean, we're, you know, we're yeah, part of the right, injustice. Right, right, and I think right. that's one of the big things that people are reluctant to believe that they're part of it. And we're all part right, of this. Right. So, the, okay. so the, the solution is not to get rid of the bad guys. The solution is to change the system. Right, right, right. And okay, the yeah. way you go about that is, yeah. first of all, you have to call, you have to, sh you have to shed the light on it and show people people what, what's wrong with the system, which is what Occupy all over the world is doing, right, I think, so right. well right now, despite the uh, the media uh, failure to go along. It's like, some of that, me that message the, the is getting through. Media. Uh, Public, no, access yeah. be yeah. Public access would yeah. be a different breed of Public access would be never get to talk this, this way. Yeah. 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 No. Oh, absolutely. But people media. This is oh, really yeah. interesting this because, 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 media. because right. it's true. It isn't, it really, it never has been about you know, getting rid of the other guys in order to, because then you're yeah. in there yourself and you have the same means and the same paper cups and everything. The question is, how do we change, how do we change the system structurally? And I think this is fascinating because, yeah, because it's the first time that it's ever happened in this way yeah. from what right. I can see. And I think that, you know, and I wish people could and could comprehend yeah. the, 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 you know, how revolutionary this is. Absolutely. Because, because this is, this is amazing. We I mean, it's, it's something that really yeah. needs to be. This is not yeah. your normal uh, time. This no. is not just a but normal But it's not a normal time. revolution. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this, it, this, normal is, this is something that has the potential to go so much farther mm -hmm. than, uh, than, than other revolutions because we've never spoken this way before as, you know, in, in well, humanity. Well, the zeitgeist has never permitted it. So we right. need to, no, no, right. it, we weren't there yet. We weren't there. It's, it's, like, it's like, it's like, now the question, the question in my mind, the question in my mind now is are we, are we, are we going to be able to you know, to get through it, or are we gonna, right. you know, like, what, well, which I way are we gonna go? The the road, yeah. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. No, yeah. you can't. No, it's a one way yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody knows, yeah. and everybody's talking about it on every level. Mm -hmm. You have Jack, all right? Yeah, Jack, we gotta get back to Jack. Jack, 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 Jack went on the hunger strike against yeah. the yeah, church. Absolutely. Occupy covers a lot of bases. Yeah, right. Okay? It sure does. We also have people that have run for district uh, congressional offices that are Occupy activists mm -hmm. that are running. It doesn't matter what party. Yeah. yeah. They just run an Occupy platform, but they yeah. use one of the parties as a matter, shell. Yeah. Is it, it doesn't it, matter. They really are. They're making Absolutely. themselves open. George Martinez just ran in for Congress. In some of the major parties or in the George Republican? Martinez just ran as a Democrat. Where? In the seventh district congressional race that just Nettie Velasquez just won again for her twenty. He ran. But he didn't year. win. He wasn't able to No, win. but he got on the ballot and he ran. How'd he run? How'd he do? He did well. Yeah, how many percent? I mean, yeah. You know, uh, he got three percent of the vote with one percent of the spending. That's not so well. That's not close to winning. Yeah, but no, but in the but primary. Can, for the primary. Yeah, oh, primaries are such a yeah, long right, turnout. Right, Come on. Right, right, right. So he did very well. Yeah, okay. For being an Occupy yeah. candidate. That Plus, may happen. Jelani Mashariki is going to run for assemblyman in the 57th district. Well, I've seen surveys where the 80% of New Yorkers are in general support of Occupy. I think it's a thing that people could start running on. People they can. can start running in a serious way. They have started you know, to. They start, start being treated Yeah, George seriously. Martinez is a political science uh, professor at CUNY, mm -hmm. and he's a serious individual. So mm -hmm. it's it's not a. It's not like some kid like screaming at the moon. For, no, for but examples. in the meanwhile, we want to get some sort of significance to things where events where we can put a focus on this kind of thing. And one of them has been Jack. This is what we were here for. Was for Jack uh, Boyle is our main guy because he was picked up. He was arrested. Right. He was arrested and he was arrested along with a uh, another clergyman and other people. Bishop. Well, bishop. Bishop. Packard, a yeah. bishop. No, yet. It was arrested and the Trinity Church. Uh, it's caught a lot of attention to it. It's getting in the in the major press and everything because what they're one of the fill us in, Jack. They're one of the largest real estate holders. They call the the head of the church a CEO. Yeah. I mean, it's a huge real estate entity. Third and largest third real estate largest owner in, in New York Manhattan. City, which is the largest real estate market. Third, in the world. Downtown. I mean, that's real money. That's what Ev Dirks would money. call real money. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's real money. And they they you you thought like the uh, the church that was going to let people in. The, uh, Newt's not. 
Judson, Judson Church. Judson Church. They did, and why haven't other churches do that? Yeah, we had why, no haven't they sent, why haven't they? Why haven't the churches set up places for Occupy people to be on a regular support? We had. Basis? We had. Why church, isn't they, no, no, no. You just on a security level. Yeah. When we got evicted from the park, churches, four or five different churches opened their doors. Why didn't a hundred churches? But I don't know. But they couldn't. What's happened to the? They uh, it was not a tenable reality because they just they just couldn't do it for uh, at home. They couldn't just keep going and doing it. So they closed. Eventually closed the doors. Well, okay. Well, I want to say something. Maybe, maybe not true. There could be more support by yeah. the general yeah. society for the. I'm just saying how it went down. Yeah. I think and that, we got to get back to Jack. Yeah, I think he's the hero of the hour. I think yeah. that the churches. I'm sorry, you are here. The churches the should have pressured a Trinity Wall Street Church, and I don't see any of that pressure happening. I right. think you know it's like, like what well, actually one clergyman described uh, the 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 um, behavior of Cooper as that of Pontius Pilate. Oh, yeah. You know when he basically said, Who's "Well, Cooper, uh, Cooper he's is the." Uh, He's rector. the rector and CEO okay, of we didn't Trinity Wall Street Church. We should get this story going. Yeah, okay. But what's interesting about that is that... Uh, I wash my hands, right? Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, he... Yeah. Basically, he, he stood there with Jack when Jack answer. was on his hunger strike. Yeah. And Jack, you know, and he said, well, I really, you know, have nothing to do with... Tell us about that. And yeah, you, were, yeah. you were incredible talking to him that day. Uh, yeah. And then Jack said to him, he said, well, if you really don't support what's happening, he said, the DA, DA, the DA is doing it. He said, well, will you come with me to the court and, and tell him that you don't support us going to jail or getting convicted? And he just sort of walked away. We, they, that's the Pontius Pilate behavior. There have been talks with them, but he thought you might be accepted the way it should have been by the ecclesiastical people and the people who really care about the wisdom schools. And so should have been supporting you, and there were hints that they were going to allow places for them to come, like the like the Judson Church. There were others. There was that you had indications that from the church that that was what their attitude was among many, but then they came down on you like the Gestapo. Mm -hmm. No? Yes. Okay. Well, you know what that's called? Mm -hmm. uh, it's called structural sin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, really? In yes. Ecclesiastical? And, meaning yeah. structural sin is the same as, as structural um, Violence, mm -hmm. structural injustice. Well, why don't we give Jack a chance to yeah. talk a little? All we've been doing is talking ourselves, and you're the reason we're here. You're what brought us to this table. You were arrested. I was along arrested. Along with 78 others or something? No, uh, 58. 58, right? 57, 58. For being on a piece of land. Yeah. Okay. And we've been to trial mm -hmm. since. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were. F uh, there were eight of us that... Uh, went with the trial mm -hmm. and uh, we were found guilty of trespass of trespass that's to be Cr criminal, trespass. criminal trespass criminal, criminal trespass. trespass criminal trespass criminal trespass mm -hmm. is being leveled by the church where they had given you some hints that they were going to be like uh, like they should be in supporting you I, I don't you understand want to be, what I'm saying go ahead Jack the Pontius Pilate uh, might be a good no I don't, I don't want to uh, put words in the church's mouth okay okay so it was a contentious relationship. When we got kicked out of the park, we went straight to that land, trying yeah. to take it. You were it. part of the group there? But yes, which so? group is that? The one that was at down at 6 and... Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. You were was, one of those. Yeah. Absolutely. It was Occupy Wall Street. Oh, he was there with you. You yeah. were fellow uh, uh, revolution. Oh, you were a fellow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everywhere Occupy as we are. Yeah. So. There's a great spirit among you people, it seems to be. Yeah. Something's uh, motivating you, yeah. Well, the thing is, the church can always say, they gave us Charlotte's Place on Gordon Street, which is a cafe they let us meet at. Uh -huh. They let us use the second floor of 74 Trinity Place. Uh-huh. To have me, uh, some meetings in, so they have that to play with. They're like, "Well, we gave, we helped you, and then you went ahead and acted like brats. Mm -hmm. So now we got to punish you." But oh, that's, so like, that's the that's the politics. That's we're like Marie about. Antoinette yeah. saying, yeah. "Let them eat cake." That's yeah. right. I mean, yeah. it's like you know, we gave them a few pieces of cake. What is what you know? Well, where is he sending us to? We have to remember in all yeah. of these all of these sub sub discussions about what's mm -hmm. going on. There are always two things happening. One is a moral question and one's a practical question. Yeah. All right. So when we attack the church as a real estate thing, mm -hmm. they yeah. got all the chips. They're like, you trespassed. Mm -hmm. You got it busted. Right, right. Just like but the rest when of we them. talk about Jesus and stuff, mm -hmm. then you have a whole moralistic platitude you're going on. Yeah. And you're calling them out on being on being hypocritical. Yeah. Now, the reason why a church is so special, they don't pay any taxes. Right, right. They make billions and billions of yeah, dollars, uh -huh. and they're a bunch of jerks, right? Uh -huh, That's my uh -huh. opinion, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they use the moral thing, too. We yeah. don't pay taxes because we teach the Word yeah. of God. Yeah, right. We, yeah. All right, so 
what's it going to be? So in our culture right now, everything is about zoning in and homing in on these duality. What's moral? What's practical? What's the law? Let's mm -hmm. get to a real place. Mm -hmm. So that's why the Trinity Occupy relationship is very important. And they have a strong interest in the status quo. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Uh, because they, they are they are benefiting greatly by it, and the people who are benefiting greatly about it are a problem that ought to be addressed in terms of raising their consciousness to something else. Right. And what you did, we should be doing. And what happened? They were going to put you in prison. There was a thought that they were going to put them in prison some for four to six months. There was some. Well, Mark, about Mark did go to prison. Yeah, we who? have one a young man, Mark Adams, who is doing uh, 45, but he'll probably maybe do 28 of the days. But he got 45 days. Yeah. And, why and, did he get so Rikers much? I mean, they, Rikers Island. Trying, they're trying to divide up that that's the real leader or they're trying no, to divide you no, up? Or no, 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 no. I, I, because uh, Mark was involved in an aspect of trespassing that was more colorful than the others. Colorful. Basically. Okay. All right. Okay. He, cut the, he cut the wire right. in the fence. Oh, well, okay. Okay. So and that's a real that's a real uh, uh, crime, you know, to do that. Well, uh, <laughs> yes and no. I mean, it's it's no, it's despicable that the church would do this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm an well, Episcopalian, yeah, and I, I think that the, I think you know I'm really embarrassed. And I mean, to think that that Reverend Cooper's his 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 actions actually resulted in in his in a bishop of his own church right. ending up picking up garbage in a in in Tompkins Square Park here as part of his community service. I mean. What's what's wrong with this church? It's not a. I mean, it's it's it's. I mean, it's, it's like, acting like a wear, church. Does he wear his ecclesiastical robes while he does? That? I hope he does. He, he should. Is, is yeah. Yeah. He, he really should. Uh, he, I, I agree with that. Yeah. 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 They get I, some I, photos. I, I think the church is just acting like the church. Yeah. But I mean, That's this is bad. horrible. Just it's always been this way. Yeah. I feel like we need to take the church back. Well, not people like this. This is a priest who. No. You know. Of course. So there are always people like these are these are the people that I identify with. Yeah, I'm talking about Trinity Church. That's yeah. Church of England, mm -hmm. okay? So it, all of the church, the Episcopal Church, and the Church. There of England. you go. So yeah. the, you know, the whole thing is a mishmash, but in the end, it's really about money. It's about money. It's all about money. It's, it's all, all about sadly, money. sadly. And, and the rules of the game have, by necessity, changed from what they have been throughout all of history. The point to be made, it never is made. Mm -hmm. The context in which all of this is taking place never seems to be brought up. Right. But Jack brought it up and forced the issue because you went on, you had had AIDS, right? And you had gone on medicine to do that. It has served well. It's amazing. Remember how it was back in the 80s? It was death. It was like gone. cancer was death. Now they've made, that's part of the progress. Penicillin's right. progress. That's right. Know, they got, but he had gone on to, and they really helped in that. And then you stopped taking your medicine and you also stopped eating. Yeah. As a hunger strike, like uh, what was that, Bobby Sands? Bobby Sands in yeah. uh, Ireland. Yeah. you're of Irish descent. Yes, the Irish descent have a story, way of though. taking a certain kind Bobby of Sands. direct yeah. contact. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have resumed eating. Uh, thank you. I'm going to applaud. I'm glad that you resumed. I may eating. stop eating again. Uh, but right now I'm eating. I uh, didn't eat for 21 days. That's a long time. And. Uh, I continue with the med strike. It's mm -hmm. day 41. I've not done uh, mm -hmm. medic medicine. Okay. And I see no end to that unless uh, there are uh, changes mm -hmm. uh, that take place here in New York City, such as uh, Mayor uh, Michael Bloomberg. Uh, you think he should apologize for coming in with the Gestapo on the day they broke up Liberty Park? Well, not yes. That I'm day using and that word probably too throughout strong, the movement right? because you know but because anyway, no. uh, every time way. we meet, uh, when I say us, I'm referring to uh, people who are uh, activists uh, with Occupy Wall Street. When we meet and uh, demonstrate uh, protesting against uh, the many things that. Uh, actions that we've had and such. Virtually there, everything you can protest against. Everything. Virtually everything. Uh, there I mean, is always systemic. there yeah. is always the large presence of NYPD there. Yeah. And With truncheons and and masks. Just and acting like police. Yeah. That and, bad. Uh, Thirty-three thousand man army. He calls it. It's great. Yeah. Mm. It, it's and not going to win. Well. But they have okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, sorry well, sorry. Uh, no it's just that uh, you cannot. People uh, this day to uh, an age, uh, we cannot assemble and uh, demonstrate. Uh, meaning, it is our first amendment. You know that we have this right to do this, and mm -hmm. yet we are suppressed mm -hmm. by. Uh, 
uh, law enforcement. Yeah, and they're ready to call in sort of thing. Posse comitatus completely dead. You know, the posse comitatus, they're, they're bringing military forces in, or they're ready to do it. He had a thing where they're going to lock people up on some charge and throw away the key. You never hear them again. Well, oh, the other... Terrorists, the, they're going to call them terrorists by demonstrating against the police. I mean, demonstrating... The other thing is, Harold, that... It's getting... The predicate is being laid for an out-and-out out police yeah, state. Yeah, but Homeland, not, Homeland Security has been involved. Home, Homeland Security has yeah. been involved directly in, in uh, suppressing them, too. All, uh -huh. the, all the federal agencies yeah. have sure. been involved. It's not so just New York City the greatest thing, the greatest They're thing worried of, about an existential thing where this thing may get out of control. Well, the greatest thing is that there's nothing to find. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Nothing what? There's nothing to find. Defined. There's nothing to, to find. find. To find, not In to our movement define. for our Homeland Security, FBI, the CIA, any of these groups that have mm -hmm. come and spied on us and yeah, chopped our phones. Yeah, there is no reason there's for nothing the there. There's nothing This is just not, it's just it's common sense that we're talking. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. That you can't steal resources from people that work. They've done it on a regular basis. Well, we're, we're not going to take it. And they've written it into the laws. They well, make you the, the enemy. If we're so ineffectual, why is everyone why is everyone now speaking this language on every level? Mm. Are speaking this? You think they are speaking? Of course they are. I mean, it's, oh, yes, occupy yeah. the label of course. Us. Even, Mitt Romney uses, even Mitt Romney uses the 99% meme. He uses occupy the has changed the debate completely all over the world. The 99% and the 1% meme has become the discussion in the culture about the next phases of where us as a people are going. Mm. Because the economy is changing rapidly, the lack of industrial activity in this land that built on, uh, plus plenty of other factors that we can't cite here, we don't have enough time, but it's the economy and it's in every walk of life and we're instrumental. We may just be cannon fodder. We may be gone. Occupy Wall Street may be gone next year. Well, some people want that to happen. Good. Just get back. Get I don't care. In your in your it, slave. Uh, you know, well, uh, you so you are. Yeah. Don't don't. There's nothing to protest. We got everything under control. Good. Well, we'll and see. We're, we're going to because uh, Occupy Wall Street may disappear, but the message and the activity is, is out in the culture already. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you can't put it back. Oh, it's you, done. You don't think so? No. I think they well, can no. get it done. Yeah. They've done pretty good. There used to be things going on. Remember, they were, they sprayed them at, at, at Davis. Got, sure. You know, there was a lot going on. It was all sure. over. There were places. The problem is, and there's no land for them to go. The problem there, is, for one thing, there's no land that the homeless or the people have that is theirs. It's all under the control. Everything's right. owned. That's right. By the people Everything that have all the power owned. and the law right. on their side. That's right. And they've got all the institutions on right. their side, and they'll just beat it down like always they have. Right. You know, people asking for justice. What do you want justice? We give you justice. Right. I mean, that's sure. that's real politique. Right. Well, but I, 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 I think it's going to grow, don't you? Of course, it is growing. You, you think it is growing? Of course. Maybe we could talk about that. Congratulations on getting uh, uh, eating. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm pleased that that happened. I was very happy to hear that you've done that. What about the meds? Uh, do you think uh, maybe it would be wise to do that also? Or what, do, what is your thinking on that? I don't mean to pry if you don't want to de no, dress I, I, I really am going forward with not taking medication. Okay. I'm... Uh, in protest. In protest. Mm hmm uh, I want things to shake up. Here, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm really... I'm concentrating here in New York City, meaning it's my protest to Michael Bloomberg and uh, NYPD and all the other law enforcement agencies that are uh, here uh, suppressing us by attacking us every time we meet and, yeah. and uh, speak out. Uh, uh, it's, it's really preposterous that, uh, that it's allowed and tolerated. And uh, it's, I feel chained. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, you understand and, what he's saying? And suppressed. Of and I can, I can only, and, the, and this mm -hmm. is why I'm using uh, my not taking medication uh, that has kept me alive for uh, some eight years since I was f uh, first diagnosed uh, with AIDS mm -hmm. and learned that I was HIV positive. And they finally came up with some things that were effective and I'm glad they came up with yes, that. Yes, yes. That's and part yes, of the progress you were wanting and, to make a and, point of and, and that's true. That's yes. Right. There has been progress. And, uh, okay, well. And I may stop eating again. I'm, I'm, uh, if, um, uh, Mark Adams is in Rikers right now, mm -hmm. and he's uh, 
since it's uh, he's had eleven, he has spent eleven nights there. Mm -hmm. Today's day twelve that he's incarcerated mm -hmm. unjustly. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why he should be in in Rikers Island prison. Uh, uh, it it's it was a it was a severe sentence, and uh, but and Mark is uh, uh, protesting what has taken place. Uh, also, with not eating right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. and, oh, is uh, he? He's not eating. Yeah, he has okay. not eaten since uh, Monday, uh, June eighteenth, when and uh, taken off uh, f f f f from the courtroom, cuffed and in the courtroom and removed, and uh, soon after uh, sent off to uh, Rikers. He's not eaten. Is he available for interviews and so forth? He's in prison. If he's, he's in prison, he's in can prison. you go make an interview or something like that? You no, can do it with no, Mumia? No, is, I don't is he, is he so. locked up? I mean, yeah, he's locked get up. up. You can't get, get a press thing? <laughs> you can't get an interview with him? They I can't don't do think it. so. I no, they would not. It'll probably take so either. long to get it cleared that he'll yeah. be out already. Are you sure? Has anybody tried? Wait till he gets out. Well, you can try. How long has he been for? Uh, I believe he's... It was 45-day sentence, but he but, might do 28. Uh, yes, which would be July 15th, I okay. believe. Right. The day but, is. Uh, what they should do is draw attention to the people who are taking extraordinary measures to try... I want to say something do. that I think Please. is really important. Yeah, we only got about that five I, minutes. That I learned when I went... I, I spent yeah. one afternoon at the trial, and, and uh, the defense brought out something very interesting. They showed photographs that were taken on the day when these people went into the occupied, uh, yeah. in, into the, this piece of land. Mm -hmm. And there were signs still up saying that it was open to the park from a certain time to a certain time. To the public. To the public. No, that's right. It was open to the public. And I think this is very important because if that's a private piece of property that people aren't supposed to go in, yeah. why are these signs up? Well, it's sort of like you the know? pride of and the that's and I, and I and I think the public needs the, to know that. Yeah, hypocrisy right. yeah. once again. Yeah. So uh, hypocrisy is found under every rock where you well, but, these, but, but, but Mark is in prison because yeah. uh, because he went into a, a piece of land that had a sign up saying it was open to the public. Well, that's very interesting. The program that's very interesting. Air. We're going to do another program because it's sort of like the homeless. The homeless are landless. They have nowhere to go. All mm -hmm. they, There is no place and, where they can and gather. Yet, no. the There's no, and, you're, I mean, and you're, yet, you're, 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 you're just go shuffling one and yet, in the no middle of the you night, can go. Where can you go to? Harold, in Sorry. the middle of the night, NYPD shows up and, and wakes these people up and tells them to move along. Right, right. Where the hell are they supposed to go? Well, there's nowhere for them to go. And they're out in the streets because of this economy. And, mm -hmm. and we know how this econ what uh, how this came about with the economy. These greedy, egotistical... Uh, well, they're going to... Then they, they're like despots. Yeah, well, they're de maybe it's getting very worrisome because they're so desperate. Maybe it's a kind of desperate... Weren't they going to have a thing... Uh, help me out. Uh, they were going to have a thing where if you were demonstrating for Occupy, they were going to be able to get you tagged as a terrorist? The there National was something Defense that somebody Alteration was... Act. Yeah, that. It, it, you know, it is a, it's a long way to go before you're getting called a terrorist if you're a demonstrator. Yeah. They can't just do that. Well, well they, they, well, they can right. now. Uh, they can, they so can declare you're a terrorist. Yeah. If you're near HR 347. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're near... Why is this stuff coming up? Because they're afraid. You can't yeah, they even are protest. Afraid. Yeah. They have set up... They have passed laws where you cannot protest mm -hmm. anymore. Right. Yeah, right. You or can't you go within 100 yards of the guy, say, whether you know it or not. Say, say, I believe it was 10 years. The Secret Service. Man, it's 10 a, years of uh, prison time. These are parts of a predicate. It's an out-and-out out police state. It's coming from both political parties. Yeah, I, I don't They're call it a police state. Uh, I call it a corporate autocracy. Okay, and it involves both political, major political they parties. They use it to police. The police work. They mm -hmm. need to work. But their pensions are history anyway. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, they're just working. Mm-hmm. So, bothering with the police is like bothering with the fingers. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Deal with yeah. the head. The head is that the banks are running the, the world. Yeah. And we're at a place where if it, it doesn't stop... And they're subsidizing the, the NYPD, by the way. The yeah. banks are... Uh-huh. They pay I the mean, overtime. Yeah, they're paying them the overtime, which is very interesting. Which is millions of dollars. It should be illegal. Uh, for them to do that. They right. should be, it's a real conflict. Of it's a real conflict of interest. To keep NYPD employed. 
too yeah. bad that there's nothing to protest because everything's perfect with our political leadership and our banking leadership. Right. <laughs> there, there are, you know, yeah. how we're, there's nothing to protest. There's well, what they give us debt. God, could, yeah, right. If, and you if, can have a part of it if you can be in debt. Yeah, that's right. And we're also, just being unreasonable. Just, hello, we're being unreasonable. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've run out of time. Too bad, Joe. I don't want to shake your hand because you got a little bit of private, poison ivy. But congratulations on the work you're doing. Stay eating if you can, in my uh, humble opinion. But uh, Manita, uh, Guy Fox, thank you, dear. Okay. Thank you so That's much for a long life of good work. And uh, good to meet you. This is the good beginning of a beautiful friendship. Thank you, sir. Pleasure to have those perceptions. We invite you to tune in. We'll be coming back again uh, Thursday. This week we're going to be talking about some of the plight of the homeless that have some linking to this thinking uh, with a gentleman, Mr. Churchill. But tune in. But uh, thank you very much. We'll be coming back tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, well, I think that's a wrap, as they say. Cool. Okay. That was very good, you guys. Oh, you that, guys. Was, that was you guys. That was really interesting. That was